Hello gents, it's Grud here, and today I've got something different to normal. I've got an Ednams beer. This one here is called the Explorer, and I picked it up today for a good price of, I believe, £1.79 from an official Ednams store. So, I'm incredibly excited to try this one. I've had a few Ednams products in the past, like a Broadside, a Ghost Ship. Which I haven't had for a long time, but I can remember them being alright, at least, maybe even could. So, yeah, let's try it out. Find a meal bottle, and 5% alcohol volume, 2.5 units in this 500 meal bottle. So, without further ado, let's open this bad boy up, all the way from... Oh, bollocks. There we go. All the way from... Suffolk, which isn't to be honest too far away from Essex, but it's really it's you know it's still in England, still a beautiful part of the country. So here we go, let's pour it in. Right, here we go. Look at that. Oh, wait, it's that side, isn't it? Yeah. Now that looks beautiful. Very golden in colour. Very golden. Yeah, I like that. Looks very nice. Quite easy to see through. Smells quite fruity. I can sort of smell a grape kind of smell, actually. Yes, that's quite nice. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm really excited to have this one. Really excited, hope it's good. Second beer of actually having Suffolk on the channel. Because I had the one from uh, the uh, Green King. It's on the other side of the county. I've never actually been to the South Wild. I've been to, you know, I've been to Clacton in Essex and all that, South End. But no, I haven't been, no, I haven't been here. So let's have a, let's have a drink. Have a taste, see what it's like, see if it's any good, see if it's decent for a countryman like me to be proud of being English. Interesting, I'm going to have some more first. Wait a minute, just let me smell it. It's very, I think it's quite slightly different from how it actually smells to how it tastes. I'm drinking this and it seems like to me that it's not as good in the uh, taste wise as it is smell wise. It tastes good, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, it tastes good. very zesty and it has a feel of flavour but it's just not really what I was expecting uh, it's very uh, it's got sort of this citrus taste to it you see yeah so it's a funny one this it tastes good but it's not the best beer I've had but it's, it's well it's an explorer isn't it it's an explorer you know you know, you explore the beer, because you smell it first, and you know, then it smells uh, different how it tastes. It's exploring your palate. That's what it's doing, exploring your palate. Yeah. That's what I would say about it. It's really exploring the palate. Yeah. Yeah, this bit is really, really quite nice. Quite easy to drink, but it's just not what I was expecting, that's really it. But now I'm really, it's growing on me, it's really growing on me quite a bit. And 
I think it's just me, but it does have a... It doesn't really have the best aftertaste, but it does taste good. It does taste good. It's not... It's definitely not the worst beer I've had in the world. Yeah, the Suffolk Lairds have done very well here. Very, very well indeed. Very impressed with what they've done. Yeah. Pardon me, it's just the taste of the beer. It is pretty good. Yeah, it's got a bit of a sharp aftertaste. A bit sharp. But it's very smooth, very easy to drink. Yeah, that's what I'd say about it. And it does taste pretty good. Right, time to rate the beer. And compared to other beers I've had so far on the channel, it's not one of the best because of the aftertaste and the exploration of flavours, which is exciting. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, it is exciting. It is ex exploration. It's like having a... Uh, Rolex Explorer on your wrist. You know, takes you to places, makes you see the world, and it makes me see all the different flavours. Interest intrigues you. Yeah, but, you know, it's not really um, the best beer I've had, but it isn't by far not the worst. It does taste nice. Just a bit of a sharp aftertaste, in my opinion. So I'm going to rate this beer a 66, I'm going to rate it a 66 out of 100 and that's because it tastes really nice, very interesting flavours and smell, quite easy to drink, however the sharpness at the end and the citrus flavour, I don't really know if it's personally for me, it's not the best one I've had, it tastes good though, it tastes good. Yeah, that's what I'd say. So, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. So, thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and if you want any reviews done, put it down in the comments. I know I've still got to do a gentleman's Bud Light. Still got to do that. I will do it soon. And I know a guy called Raymond, who's done one before, he wants a head cracker done. Which I've never heard of. Never heard of a headcracker. But I'll give that a go. So, thank you for watching. See you soon.